is easier being a parent or a grandparent? It's definitely easier being a grandparent second time around than it is uh, a parent the first time. In the beginning, it was all trial and error. The first child didn't come with a handbook. We didn't know what to do. When she was uh, going to school, uh, she was going in the evening. She'd go to night school. And I would work all day, and I would come home and, and put my stuff away, and then I'd put the apron on, and I became uh, the, the mommy. So I was working two jobs, basically. All, all day I would work, and then at night I would play with the kids, make sure they had dinner, because she would have to leave and go to school. It was one. Well, Tiffany. the kid, sorry. Tiffany, yeah. Singular. And that was like kids. She was a lot of work, because Tiffany needed a lot of time. She was the kind of kid that basically you had to play with her. I mean, uh, I think back in the day, there used to be a, a little ball that you used to buy, and it was plastic, and it had all these little shapes, triangles, squares, circles. And that was our thing. Every night we would go at it. We'd put a little timer on, like an egg timer, and we'd see who could put the little objects in the ball faster. Well, of course, after she did it five times, she could beat me at it. And these are the kind of things. Every night I had to keep her busy. She was the kind of kid, didn't like the toys. She liked to go toe to toe with dad, do this, do that. And she would just look at me and say, all right, time to go to bed. And then about that time, Helen would be rolling in. She just got back from class. and. I'd say, how was everything? We'd go to sleep and we'd do it again. But it was fun. Like, I don't know, do you have any, any and stories? And I think that, that when it's your own children, you know, you're, the total responsibility is on you. And you're constantly having, you know, we're doing all the reprimanding and, you know, having the discipline, the tea, everything. And now when it's your grandchildren, you get to enjoy your grandchildren because now they have parents where they're going to do the discipline. We, we're here also to follow through. And, but we get to do some of the enjoyable things. What advice did your parents give you as young parents that you've passed on to your children? If anything, they, they taught us how to be frugal. My parents, yeah. they used to tell me, I always save, save a dollar. If you make 10, save one, you know? Those were the kind of advices I think that I learned early on in life. It's important that, that we think about whatever we sow, we reap. Yeah. So we, if, we, if, we, if we sow into our children and into our grandchildren and into, into their lives, that's what we're going to reap from. Whatever, whatever time you put into your children, whatever time you put into them, is what's going to come back. So that to me is something I could share that has been important to me for somebody young starting out or another person. It's something that I share with my kids too. We believe that everybody has a purpose in life. As parents, we have a purpose. And then once you have your children, each one of them will have a purpose in their life. And we felt that it was our duty to make sure that each and every one of our kids would, would come to fruition with whatever they wanted to do in life. We would help them do it. And individually, they all got equal attention and, and we would put so much effort into that. If you want to be a singer, you're a singer. You want to be a teacher, you're a teacher. You want to be a lawyer, you're a lawyer. All three of our kids, from the time they were four and under even, they were already talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. And we took notice on that and both of us double teamed it. All right, this one's gonna be the lawyer. We push them in that direction. And each one now today, this day, they're doing exactly what they said they were gonna do when they were four years old. We were blessed watching them yeah. do exactly yeah. what they wanted to do in I life. Mean, there was a lot of sacrifice on our part. We went into business together so that we could be able to work our hours around our children. Right. There were times when, um, when we struggled financially to be able to meet all of their needs. And, but God always came through. You know, he always helped us. He always, and they, they, are, they have been able to fulfill the dreams. I mean, my son went to law school. Joy got to sing. She said, when she was little, she was four years old. She used to say, she goes, I'm gonna sing all over the world. And that's what she loves to do. And now, now she's getting a chance. Again, now that she raised her, now that she, now that she had her three children, is I'm ready to go back out there now and to start singing again. You know, she wanted to have her children and she put that on hold, but that's what she loves, you know, to sing. And then Tiffany always wanted to teach and she loved music. And Tiffany works with the children with their music and she teaches them. They're all doing what they all want, wanted to do as children. See more of Helena and Randy on Nouveau TV's House of Joy.